Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me in Florida. It is boiling hot today, but I'm here with Brooks from Drag Times to check out his new Tesla Model S Plaid. This has become pretty famous very, very quickly. It is one of the fastest cars in the world, despite being a fairly large and heavy electric saloon. But today we're going to be taking that over to PBIR, Palm Beach International Raceway, for me to get an opportunity to see what the plaid is like and quite how fast it can go. We're also taking up my GT500, although I think we know that the plaid is rather going to school the GT500. This is going to be very one-sided. For now though, we need to get on the way because along the route, we need to stop at a Tesla supercharger to do the drag races with as much charge as possible in the plaid. So let's get cracking on then, jump in with Brooks, head over towards PBIR, get this charged up and see what it's like on the drag strip. We're going to be checking this out though. Brooks, how you yeah, doing? How you doing? Great to see you, bud. Likewise. Good to see you as always. Congrats on this. Thank you very much. Exciting times. I I've never been more excited to <laughs> experience an electric car. Everybody's seen it, but until you experience it, it's going to be a lot of fun. Sub two seconds to 60. Mad quarter mile times. Oh yeah. Model the S Plaid. second quickest production car in the world, only upstaged by the Nevera, which I drove last week. And which was a pretty awesome video. Amazing. But it does cost 20 times the price. It is 20 times. Today is about this though, Model S Plaid. It was long awaited, talked about often along the way. It doesn't look like a car that does what it does, but um, that you would think would be very fast. That is significantly faster, so. We're gonna find out. Definitely. It hasn't been done yet, GT500 for Tesla. You're out here. We might as well do it. Definitely, right. Let's hop in. All right. And let's uh, get out of the heat, into some aircon, and get on the road. Let's go. It's time to enter the land of silence then. Completely the opposite of that. Just need some aircon. Your car's too loud, Tim. It is quite antisocially loud. Oh, right. So, first thing you'll notice, there's no stocks. Oh, yeah, the steering yeah, wheel. There's no turn signals. Wait, what do they call no... the steering wheel? This is the yoke. The yoke. And uh, you just, it's like an iPad. You swipe up to go to drive. And there's also a setting that it will guess what direction you want to go. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds slightly it's, sketchy. Uh, you know, it's worked up fine every time. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So that looks so odd. It driving is. with a, it's like a game controller. It is. I, th I always felt like they should put buttons on the back too. You know, so we could have some more choices. You know, yeah. instead of swiping up and down, maybe uh, reverse and drive just back here or something like that. Yeah. Of course, there's no gears. So. But the interior is all round a little bit different. Yeah, I mean, it's completely new inside. Yeah, I, I hadn't really clocked that before, but yeah. it's all quite new and just done a little bit differently. I like that you've already got the... I've already got the V-Box. <laughs> We're always measuring just in case something happens. <laughs> you, nev you never <laughs> know. Set a new record, I don't know. You never know where you might be and what you need. And this is called the Gap Cam. Okay, so you can see your GT500 behind and it's always recording. So if you get into a little encounter on the road, all you do is honk the horn and it records to an SSD drive, and then you can load that up on your computer later on. No, all, really? All four views, left, right, front, back. Permanently data recording. Always, just in case. This is quite clever, this thing. <laughs> now over here is where you put in the super plaid mode. So yeah. you go pedals and steering, wear in plaid, and then if you put it in drag strip mode, that'll heat up or condition the battery right now. It would probably take about two minutes uh, to do that. So, um, and then it preps and then it just goes. Yeah. So, what battery status are we at right we're now? We're at 100%. Okay, but and we'll then, have lost some by the time we get towards yeah, the Yeah, for when we charge, exactly. So, then we get it back to 100% because have you done any direct tests how much performance it loses from 100% going down? Uh, it's about 2% per quarter mile. And how much difference does that make to the times? I've run this down to less than 50% and still ran a 9.4 in the quarter mile. Okay, so it's a little bit. But a it's little bit, huge. but like gone are the days when the car like totally slows down. Yeah, you know okay. I mean? Yeah. So. Wow, cool. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. The tech level is incredible. All right, Tim. As we head out to the highway, I basically need to keep my head planted on the head. No, I want you to sit forward and relax, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Be comfortable. Oh, yeah, that's why. Wow, you feel that going through your eyeballs, like getting squished into the back of your skull. Yeah. This is, this is. From a roll, I think it hits harder than from a stop. Yeah? Yeah. That level of G-force is. Because it's making a thousand horsepower starting at 80 miles an hour. They don't give you all the power down low. Really? Yeah. I mean, 
mean, I felt that, like, yeah, okay, head, head going back, so I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, from a 40 mile an hour roll. Yeah, oh my uh, gosh. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Seeing how fast that goes up. <laughs> This is too much fun. <laughs> Where'd your Mustang go? He's gone. Where's the gap cam? <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Yeah. There are very few words for it. <laughs> Where's the GT500? He's coming up right here. There he is. There he is. He caught up eventually. <laughs> <Yeah>. oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you what, when he goes past it, it'll sound a little bit better. It does sound better. <laughs> than, than our kind of tired yeah. noise. Wow, that is. That is a proper punch. Yeah. It, it's, a, it's a punch in your whole body. Even from seven? Oh my gosh. Right? My phone's gone. Phone's, phone's gone. gone. <laughs> I don't even know where. <laughs> <laughs> You're just mean. You're like, Jay, go. Have some fun. <laughs> and then, um, no. I love these rolling photo shoots. They're a lot of fun. The other side of this is that right now we're cruising in autopilot. Is that standard on the plaid? So basic autopilot is included. So what I'm doing right now, just with the highway cruising, uh, optional is the full self-driving. That's uh, about $200 a month via subscription or $10,000 one, one payment. And that enables automatic lane changing. Uh, it'll take entrances and exits of highways. It'll pass cars. It'll let you use the turn signal to change lanes. And do everything. And, uh, stop light recognition, stop signs, and things like that. It's amazing how quickly these things are getting very, very clever and how you're just chilling with the yoke. It's the best. <laughs> yeah. Very relaxing after going plaid. <laughs> it, it's actually quite funny how different this is to what we were just doing. Now, chilling and taking it easy. Yeah. As opposed to the absolutely insane acceleration. And then with the uh, GT500 chilling behind with absolutely no autopilot or autonomous or anything like that. We're having a quick checkpoint. Does this mean it's time to swap over? Yes, your turn. Let's do it. Okay. First challenge, going around a corner. How you hold this? Something like that. Don't sneak attack me, all right? That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. Well, considering how many times you just got me, it would only be fair. I don't want to hit myself. I'm, I don't like it over here. I like driving. Yeah, because the, the, the acceleration is so yeah. ridiculous. Okay, this is the, the mild test right okay. now. Right. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> was that mild? <laughs> you didn't even stab it. You went too light. You have to stab it. I can believe it. That was my first time. Yeah. Come on. You I'm didn't nail getting, it though. I'm still getting used you to holding it. You went like soft into it. It's not, a, it's not a Mustang. You can go all the way. I'm too used to rear wheel drive Mustangs. You mean like this? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like that. Okay. And then how do you put it on autopilot? How does that work? So you double click that button. Yeah. And now you're not open. And now you don't have to hold anything. Correct. The car does it all for me. Yes. There we go. Nice and easy. Unless I do this. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get my face, but you can try me. I'll, I'll let you do it one time. You done? Definitely a very different experience from this side. Yeah. Very different from my camera. From the back, you're not even in full torque mode either. Like it doesn't oh, give really? you all the power unless you have this on. That's a little more Drag instant mode. torque, yeah. We should add as well, by the way, that we've got Jimmy with us as well. Yes. Know, but Jimmy has joined. What's up? And um, okay, so now yeah, like yeah. Oh, dude, this is annoying. It's really annoying, isn't it? <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> 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 Onwards. The first time someone got me on that, I was like, stop, that's yeah. enough. You know what I mean? No, I do it to people all day long. Yeah. <laughs> this feels wrong though. Yeah? You know, not, not holding a, a wheel or yeah. something. Can it automatically move you lanes? Or do you yes. Have to, yes. You press it. And it does the lane Well, change. you're not. No, no, yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't okay. do it. Yeah, okay, yeah. And it puts us back in the next lane. Yeah. Nice and easy. And if you turn on Mad Max mode, It'll go around cars automatically as you drive. Don't tell me it does that. It does, 100%. That yeah. feels like it should be legal. Yeah, you turn this on right here, and now it's in full auto mode. As you can see, it's drawing a line straight down ah, there. So it works out which lanes to go. Yes. So like, if it doesn't like this guy in front of us, so if it wants it'll, to go faster, it will do it. Yeah. We are about to arrive then 
at the supercharger. And if I press this, right, he says, click it, there we go. We have three stalls available. That's very convenient because we need to get this up to full. So where do we go? Find it here somewhere. I'm not sure I've supercharged a Tesla in quite a while. I'll probably spectate you guys, just hoping we don't get iced or something. <laughs> Given the relative lack of time. What do I do, reverse? Yeah. That is a bit trippy. And then, do, do, do with a yoke, because steering with a steering wheel would be far too, like 1900s. <laughs> no, <laughs> am I wrong? Where do we go? A little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. Okay, good. Stop. Yep. Tap to park. There we go. When I worked out how to get out, which button to press, you have different plugs over here. We have much larger yeah. Tesla plugs. Let's see what it does here. See what this says. Is it supercharging? 67%. Waiting for it, waiting for it. Oh, Is it running? Yeah, it's running. Current session. Maximum oh, charging. Here, yeah. Okay, here we go. Ramping up. Charging 50, 60, 70 kilowatts, 80, 90. What do you get up to? Is it about 100? It supports 150, but it depends on your state of charge. Oh yeah, of course, it's higher. It out, so. The higher you are, the longer it yeah. takes. So 30 minutes to 100%, that's not bad. No, that's good, because yeah. we're getting in the last bit. Obviously, if we were down to like 10%, and we need to charge it up 30%, it Tesla, would do that. Tesla does have 250 kilowatt chargers too. Yeah. But uh, not here. All right, we'll have a chill out, and then uh, not too long, we can get moving. All right, so let's uh, let's make this a little bit faster. <laughs> Just to try to, you know, supercharge it now. Some extra batteries. Yeah. Duracell life. Right now. The good news is that we have 100% at 100 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Oh, is this going to do what I think it does? Do you have to be moved? <laughs> a Hellcat Tesla. Hellcat Tesla. <laughs> you know, it has a speaker outside too. No, really? Oh, yeah. So it's really, party. really? Yeah, yeah. I got to hear that. Yeah. Well, all I can hear is the GT500. We need to... Do we need to restart this? No, you'll hear it. Let me climb out. It actually does that. Just... Down here in the speaker. <laughs> I got the Jetsons. Yeah. I have a rotary. Okay, let's, let's hear something else. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. The Hellcat. Uh, so you just search it. My rotary? Or whatever you like. Is there Mario Brothers? It's quite quiet outside. That's hilarious. And then we got a. Uh, Mario. <laughs> oh my goodness. The most requested one was actually the Jetsons. Yeah? <laughs> There's an answer to everything, isn't there? Yeah. That was all born out of me saying that this doesn't sound anything like that. Um, nope. There was a solution to it. Yeah. Pop it into Hellcat mode. And then of course you got ice cream. As you turn up Poor for a kids. drag race. Yeah. <laughs> Little do they know. Right, anyway, calculating 100%, are we done? Are yeah, we finished? We're good, we're good. Balancing battery packs and whatever else it needs to yeah, do. Yeah, and... yeah, I think we're ready. Yeah? Yep. We can go. Well, that was quite a gentle drive, but we are here. PBIR, Palm Beach International Raceway, where we've been a few times together before. And this is on, what are we on? 94%. 94%. Nice stuff. Going very nice and easy. Getting ready for a full out. We are here then. You can hear the fans are running on the plaid, which is making it a little bit cooler before we head on out. We're gonna do a few runs with both cars, some test runs here at PBIR, where two years ago, we did the race with my new Ford GT and Brooks's old 2005 Hefner Ford GT. Earlier this year, we did a few things as well, but the GT500 has never done a run here. So we're gonna have some fun with that here today as well and then yeah I'll pop these up against one another which will all be over on Brooks channel and shortly I'm gonna have a run in this to see what it can do today on the drag strip it is very hot but Brooks has also put some performance wheels on it 
which will help with some weight savings as well on that front. And basically, yeah, 1,000 horsepower of Model S Plaid. It's not gonna be that much of a race, really, but it's gonna be intriguing to see what this can do. <coughs> Bit of a burnout in the Model S Plaid. Super sticky prep surface. This is gonna be quite the fascinating run coming right up. Wow, 9.26 from the factory <laughs> Model S Plaid. <laughs> all right, Shmi, here we go. You're all set okay. up in Plaid mode. You are ready to go. All you do is pull up in stage, left foot on the brake, right foot on the uh, throttle. You'll see it drop down yeah. and it'll say ready when it's ready to go. But there is a little tire pressure monitor there. So uh, you can go whenever you want. Just wait a couple seconds. Wait, I don't have to change anything? You are ready to go. We're in the right mode? Yep. Wait, how does this work? How do you see modes and things? The, le the lower left. Oh, uh, the car down there. Yep. There you go. Pedals and steering, plaid mode. Done. You're ready to go. This it's will be your quickest quarter mile ever. I'm looking forward have to fun. it. Have fun. Let's do this. All right then, ready to rock and roll. Into drive, like that. Press to drive with a yoke. My first yoked quarter mile. I'm just gonna go straight up to the line after the uh, other car has gone and uh, give it a go. All right, here we go. I am driving Brooks's Model S Plaid to the line with a yoke to line it up a little bit further there we go that's it so foot firmly on the brake and you wait and it's preparing I've got a traffic light on the dashboard in front of me it's blinking away and then I guess when I'm ready head right back throttle and preparing 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 entering cheetah stance the front's going down Wait for it a moment. And three, two, one, bang! Oh my gosh, it makes you feel dizzy. You go lightheaded doing that. And then it gets very smooth. The acceleration is gradual. Wowzers. Oh my gosh, it makes you feel dizzy. You go lightheaded doing that. And then it gets very smooth. The acceleration is gradual. Wowzers. 9.34 on the V-Box. You've got to watch the brakes because it's 151 miles per hour in a quarter mile. Brain calibration all over the place. And now I have to steer with a yoke around the corner. And this is where you need the top of the steering wheel to <laughs> hold on to. 9.34. Well, that's officially the fastest quarter mile I've ever done. It's funny because the hit is so much right at the beginning. Right as soon as you pull away, you have this G-force sensation that makes you almost feel like you're going to black out or something as it hits. And then after that, things get a little bit easier and uh, the acceleration is very fast but manageable in the process it's feeling very busy here which is a slight problem <laughs> guys leave the road clear <laughs> oh, right back round we go first go my brain is just frazzled I need one more to take this in properly. I love that it knows on the screen that I'm going past trash cans or garbage cans on the right. This knows everything. The tech is so clever in here. This is just, it's just weirdly fast and so easy to do that. There's no settings like in the GT500 going through the different RPM settings. Wow, dragster. Well, that's going to go even faster than this. Madness. We're just ahead here at PBIR of their test and tune event. So they've kindly allowed us to uh, book out a slot just before to come and give this a go. 
just great fun. So, <laughs> the yoke is so odd. This must take some getting used to, but that's always been the Tesla way. Do it differently, do it oddly, and uh, rock and roll. Right, lining up for the second go. Rolling backwards, you come forwards just to get a little bit more glue on the tires. Roll it backwards behind the staging lights. Slide it forwards. Now let's get this staged. Keep it dead straight, there we go. So, foot on the brake, foot on the throttle. This is where it's preparing for launch, entering cheetah stance. It's quite the dramatic process as it lowers the front. It'd be quite hard to line this up to go directly on the trees, but head back. Three, two, one, go. Oh my gosh. It's just as intense the second time around. And this is where it gets easier, 140, 150. 60 miles an hour. Go! Oh my gosh. It's just as intense the second time around. And this is where it gets easier. 140, 150. 160 miles an hour. And onto the brakes. About the same time. I mean, isn't it bizarre that that is as fast, well, faster than any combustion engine supercar out of the factory can do a quarter mile? And this can take five people in comfort, and it is far from being light. In fact, it is twice as heavy as some of the fastest supercars. How? I mean, and this is now at 73%. It uses about 2 or 3% per go, so you only get the maximum attack at 100% or as close as possible. It does seem to back off. I guess when it gets lower, you would lose a third of a second or something like that at lower percentages of charge. It's fairly bonkers, though, to do that, to run a Model S Plaid. I keep wanting to say played because that's how it's written in English English, Model S Plaid, American car of course, on the drag strip. It, 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 it's just a recalibration and that first like three seconds when you're feeling the g-force and it's really squeezing your eyeballs to the back of your skull and I, I guess I've never been but it's probably a little bit akin to being in a stunt plane or a, a fighter jet but just for a short moment where you feel like if it's going to continue, you might actually black out from it. It's that kind of intensity. Wow. It's, it's mad. It's crazy cool. It's insane. And this is Plaid. Obviously, they couldn't get Plaid Plus to come to market with the battery basically not having the capability to give that much power so in instantaneously. The motors in this, as we go through a bit of a... Uh, smoke cloud there the motors in this are going to be capable of so much more i just find it crazy that this exists that this is a thing that it runs like this i'm not quite sure where these guys are going but we are going to come straight on through and go rejoin brooks just here Dude. This is mental. You love it? Thank you. All right, show me how to launch the GT500. I want to try it. <laughs> we'll do it. Okay. G-forces. Yeah, right? Woo! Yeah. How so, was the braking? It's very fast at the end, isn't it? Didn't you feel like you got to get on it pretty good? Yeah, but I didn't feel that was yeah? too scary. Yeah? Okay. Take it easy. Yeah. Tap to park. Yep. Perfect. Oh, I missed the button. That's it, right? That's it. It's done. You're done. <laughs> Silly. We're having a little swap. I've jumped out of the plaid. Brooks is now going in the GT500, which means I need to get up here in case he has any questions. So I'm running as fast as I can um, before he's gonna go in this. But first is a little bit of a line lock and then a launch control. And then who knows? Okay. Yep, now it has one press of okay. No, no more needing the brake, just a <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> let me cross over here. 
and we'll have a watch of how Brooks does in the GT500. I feel like this is a rite of passage for the car. Being driven down the drag strip by Brooks is quite a, uh, a special moment for it, really. Quite an exciting moment. Gets lined up properly. I guess they're doing a, a bit of a race, I'm not quite sure. I think Brooks was going to go solo. So the GT500 should win this race, just. Just. There we go. to 11.286. Cool, just under 11, almost every run. That was close, that was cool to see. Oh, that was a race, that was a race. That was good. So see, these two go way back. Like, yeah. when I say way back, I'm talking like almost 25 years. So that was an actual competitive race. Oh, that, that was a very good competitive <laughs> race. He does not like to lose to the light. There's only two people in the world that he's afraid of when it comes to lining up on a track. Yeah. One of them is him, the other one is me. <laughs> <laughs> 180, he got 78. Is that the year going again? Yes. <laughs> I didn't need tires anyway. Nah, they were kind of dead anyway, so. to 11.173. That's a close race, but it's fascinating how consistent the GT500 is. Nearly the same every time. Something fun now, Brooks is taking the plaid again, but for a different drag race, another GT500. In fact, a GT500 we've seen in an earlier stage before. Ken from Palm Beach Dino is here with this monster, and the drag race of these two is going to be over on the Drag Times channel. To give you a little bit of an idea, the time over there is the test run that the GT500 did. Non-track pack, so low wing, but not standard. As you can tell from the noise it makes, that is not standard. It's also on drag radials. Unsurprising, given it's a GT500 running into the nines. Anyway, they're about to go. I think they're gonna have time to do a race or two. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty epic to watch, so... Aside from the noise, coming from one of the cars... You'll need to watch Brooks' video to see more of that. <laughs> that was so loud. <laughs> Semi-burnouts. Actually, this is where you can see quite how wide the plan is at the back. It's got much, much wider arches than the standard Model S GT500CX1100R. It's had some more ice put in it, effectively to keep the systems cool. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> right, race time. The light is starting to go down. The humidity here is absolutely ridiculous, but that car is something else. The Tesla Model S Plaid has been quite the experience for a first drive today to get a feel for what this is. You would never believe, looking at it, that it can do quarter mile runs in the low nines. It is a complete sleeper, although saying that, while we were at the supercharger, one person did spot that it was the Plaid. There are a few things that are different, obviously a touch wider, in this case, different wheels, but having from factory the gloss black window surrounds and a few other details about it as well. But a practical, usable car with all of this tech, with all of these features, that happens to go that fast down the drag strip as well. Anyway, a big thanks today to Brooks and Jimmy at the team at Drag Times for the opportunity to drive in Brooks's car to have a run, the fastest run I have ever done as well, down the quarter mile in this, in the plaid. It has been quite the memorable experience and isn't it quite fantastically amazing? how much that gets left behind. Although it is brilliant that that car has been running 10.9s because the rear tread is now in dire need of replacing 
and it's this humid, which is not ideal for a car like this. So in the right conditions, that would be going a little bit quicker. I guess 10.8s, 10.7s, I don't know exactly. Maybe we'll have to try at some point in the future. Today has been really quite fun though. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to check out Brooks's channel. Go subscribe to Drag Times if you haven't already. But plenty more action here on the drag strip with the likes of the Rimac Nevera and so much more as well. For now though, that is all. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.